Did you know you can make these really cool gifts of yourself to use on your Instagram stories really easily? So in today's video, I'm actually going to show you exactly how to do it. My name is Leah Buckingham and I am a multi-award winning social media and business performance coach and I help ambitious business owners and entrepreneurs to just like yourself to position themselves as a go-to authority in their own industry. So don't forget if you want to keep up with my weekly trainings to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so Instagram stories, they are a really, really great way for you to nurture your relationships with your current audience. Um, you can get more personal with them through your Instagram stories and there's a lot more interaction with them as well by using a variety of stickers and features that are available. Now, stories, they're also a really great tool for you to encourage your audience to take a particular action with your call to actions. So whether that's to swipe up, to visit a website page that you've linked, if you have that feature available, um, to respond maybe to a poll, ask, they can ask you a question in the DMs, go to watch one of your recent reels or IGTV posts, or even just to visit your profile to click on your link there. So what can you actually do to make your stories even more powerful? And that's where adding your very own GIF comes in. Adding a GIF of yourself to your stories will not just encourage more engagement from your audience as it will actually stand out to them more, it will also help to attract attention to your call to actions, which will result in more people doing exactly what you want them to do with your story content. So let's get to it. Let's show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so once you've recorded your video with you making a movement with a solid background behind you, you're going to go to unscreen.com. Now, I'm on my phone today, but you can also do this on the computer. It works exactly the same way. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to upload clip, and then you're going to go to your camera roll to find that video. Okay, so once you've selected it, you're going to choose it, and then you're going to let it upload. And as you see, as it's uploading, you've got the transparent background behind, um, and you just need to check that it's taken you out of the image, so there's no background left. So that's why it's really important to make sure you've got a solid background behind you, because if you've got too much going on in the background, then sometimes it will leave it in the GIF, which obviously is not what you want at all. So looking at that, yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom and then click on download. Now it's gonna encode it and download it, and so then I'm gonna press download, so that's gone to my downloads. Now I'm on an iPhone, so I want to actually save it to my camera roll. So in the top right, you've got the little blue arrow. If I click on that, and then click on the download, I can then save it to my camera roll. So if I click on the top right for share, save image, and that GIF is now saved to my camera roll, ready for me to upload to my social media. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to my Instagram and go to my stories and upload a story. So here I've uploaded an image, I've added some text, and I've added a call to action. So it's really important to add a call to action, especially when you're using these types of GIFs, so you know you can get people to actually take action and do what you want them to do. So here is a story, struggling to create reels, and then it's like, okay, well subscribe to my YouTube channel for tutorials. So I'm gonna add my GIF to here. So the way to do this, this is on an iPhone, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to my camera roll, and I'm gonna find that GIF, and then literally I'm going to click on the share button on the bottom left and then you can see you've got the option to copy photo so I'm going to click on copy and then when I go back into my Instagram stories you will see it has add sticker so I'm going to press on add sticker and it's going to pop up as the gif in the story so then I can resize it like I would do with any type of gif and then I'm going to press on the text just to bring that to the front and then move that up slightly over my gif so it's all positioned in the right way. So there you have it. It's a great way of being creative with your stories and a really easy way to add your own GIF of yourself. Now, how easy is that? Let me know in the comments if you found this video useful as I love hearing feedback from you guys. And also what else you need help with when it comes to your social media marketing.